Hi, this is Topper Chef back again. Today we're going to make a fantastic salmon dish. I love Alaskan salmon. You know why? Because it is flavorful fish, rich in uh, omega fatty acids, and it's good for your bones and your joints, and of course to lower your cholesterol. Uh, the doctors recommend it, and I love cooking with it because you can't kill the f flavor of uh, salmon. Now we're going to make a sauce which will be like an Indian sauce, but the salmon has to be have its own flavor by itself. So the marinade and everything will be kind of Indian way, but not very overpowering the flavor of the salmon. So this sauce, which we'll, we will call a lemon butter Indian sauce with uh, just like a tikka masala sauce, but instead of uh, putting Kasuri methi in it, we are going to put dill, which goes very well with salmon. Okay, so that's what we're going to make today. To begin with, uh, we're going to make the marinade for the salmon, but we don't want a very spicy marinade for it, a very simple marinade, so it goes into the fish, but doesn't overpower the flavor of the fish. So here we have one teaspoon of paprika, one, two tablespoons uh, of uh, lemon pepper powder and one tablespoon of pepper, uh, uh, cayenne pepper so this thing was one but there are one one and two and then i'm going to add four tablespoons of olive oil and mix it all up and what i'm going to do is once this is all mixed up, I'm going to dip, dip my salmon into this properly. Like this. Topper Chef back again. Now we're going to cook the salmon. It's half an hour. It's been marinated. I've got a very hot pan. As you can see, no oil in this because we've got enough oil here on this. So I'm going to just singe it right here. Skin first down. And the key of cooking salmon is always you got to remember not to overcook salmon. The reason I don't like eating salmon outside because a lot of people just cook it so much that it becomes like cardboard by the time it comes to your table. So you have to have cook it so the flavor remains by the time it reaches the table. Okay, so now we put this on a very medium flame now, you can see. And this is almost done now for the salmon, believe me. You don't want it three minutes this side, three minutes that side. And that's the way you've got to get it out before you overcook it. And this one, you need it that side, but this has two sides. So here is my salmon. I know it is not cooked as yet because it's going to cook in the sauce. This is when I take it out and keep it aside. And now I'm going to make the sauce in the same pan.
Okay, so now we remove the fish. Now we're gonna make this sauce. Now this was what the marinade was all about, which we marinated the fish. I added more water into it. And we're gonna make a reduction of this because this is where the flavor, the lemon, butter, the cayenne pepper, everything's right here. So we saw my pan was hot. And we're gonna reduce this to get that lemon flavoring into this stuff. Okay, I know this pan is really big, but I want to use just one pan. Okay, this is the reduction which we put from the marinade. Added a little water, and this marinade has a lot of lemon in it. So it's good to have this reduction instead of using wine or anything like that. Most of the French recipes, they have wine. So we're gonna just use without anything, without wine or anything, this is reducing this to get the lemon flavor. Lemon and cayenne pepper flavor out till the oil leaves into this reduction and re reduces to half. Okay, it's reduced enough. Now I'm gonna add my onion paste. This is the Indian nest in it. This is what we call our roux. In Indian cooking, this is our roux. The roux is the onion. It solidifies everything, gives it a flavor. The white onion is really good to make a nice roux. See how thick? Otherwise, you would have had to have butter or cream with this to make it a roux. Now, this is where the Indianness comes, the ginger garlic paste. And I'm gonna raise up the heat, heat a little bit. It's a medium, so I'm gonna cook it a little more. Or you can cook it at this. You don't wanna splatter it everywhere. So, always sauces need to be cooked on very low, low flame just like soups. You don't need to boil them. It needs to simmer so the flavor comes out. Okay, so now you see, letting it cook. You see, it is, I can already smell the lemon flavoring, little ginger in it. And this is good for that salmon. But now, is the place where it's called lemon butter. This is where I add my butter to thicken this sauce. And yes, at a low flame, this is gonna be your cream, which will thicken the sauce slowly. You don't want it on high flame, otherwise you are gonna burn the butter off. Now we added, added all the butter, as you can see. So now this is the actual flavoring of the lemon butter sauce. And I can smell the ginger, the onion paste, which is our roux. Uh, we can say, you know, people say that yeah, garlic and ginger is not a spice but it gives a lot of flavor to it. Now, this is when I'm gonna add my cream. I keep on stirring it. Okay, so now you can see the We've added the cream and the sauce is really thickened. The salt is okay because of the salt and pepper which was there in the fish before. Now I'm gonna add my cilantro and my dill and a little hint of paprika also to bring that flavor and color to the sauce. And that's it, just stir it as you can see. Now the sauce is ready. Now this is the time to put 
to fish. Now this is the time, I got it on real low. This is the time we're gonna put our fish in it. So it simmers in that sauce. Let it cook, simmer in the sauce for about two minutes.